Have you been looking for a third row SUV that can carry up to six people, has a V8, and can tow up to 7,400 pounds? Well, I got it here today. This is the 2023 Dodge Durango RT. All right, so let's start this walk around with the front end here. You have these nice aggressive headlights that are LED with LED daytime running lights. Big, broad, black grille that stretches all the way across the front with Dodge right in the middle. Plus, you have these nice hood vents here on the top that are functional. That V8's got to breathe. Down on the bottom here, you do have LED fog lights, and you do have these sensors that stretch all the way across the front, plus another one right down there for your distance in front of you, so it beeps at you if you get close to something, plus some of your safety features use those sensors as well. Coming around the side here, you have these nice black finished wheels that actually have kind of like a graphite black finish there on them. Super nice. These are wrapped in two 65-50 R20 wheels here, uh, Pirelli tires there, so 20-inch rims with Pirellis, you then have a Hemi badge right here on the side. Plus, you got this black mirror cap here on the back or on the side there. And then on the top there, you have your uh, roof rails on the top that are blacked out. And then again, those black wheels on the back. This color is called Destroyer Gray. What an absolutely awesome color on this vehicle. You can see the bird stop by and drop me off a present while I was filming here. Coming around the back, you do have your gas cap here on the back of the vehicle. And then all the way on the back side here, you do have uh, your shark fin antenna up on the top there, a little spoiler on the back, and then you have these super nice, aggressive uh, Dodge taillights here on the back of the uh, the vehicle. And then you'll see Durango spelled out in the back and those blacked out lettering there with RT as well. Sorry for the wind there, guys. A little bit windy today. Down on the bottom, you have dual exhaust that sound incredible. Plus, you have a little uh, windshield wiper on the back as well. Let's pop open this trunk real quick. You'll see right here from the key fob, I can unlock it. Lights up that tail lights that look awesome. And then press twice there to pop that tailgate open. It is a power tailgate here on this RT. And then inside that power tailgate, you have an absolutely ton of space. Let me zoom out a little bit here. So you have a ton of space back here. You do have two seats back here that are leather finished. And you can put those seats down to give you a completely flat loading floor after that. Now, down here, you do also have... A little bit of storage down here as well. And then you have some of your tire mobility or spare tire kits uh, right on down there as well. You can snap that in and it covers it up. You also have a little storage area over there. And then this is where your button is for the power lift gate. On the other side, you do have 12 volt power outlet back there. And then a little bit of tie downs here. This kind of got a carpeted finish here as well, which is nice. Come on over here and we'll press that button and the tailgate will then start to go down for us. Let's go up underneath the engine hood now. 360. That's how much horsepower is underneath this hood with this 5.7, 5.7 liter V8 Hemi engine. That sounds awesome. You also have 390 pound feet of torque underneath this hood. Plus you can have 7,400 pounds of towing capacity there. This one also has a trailer brake controller, which I'll show you in the inside. But underneath here, you do have everything that's uh, pretty accessible there to you. You have the yellow caps on everything that you really can mess with or you should mess with. Uh, you got your windshield wiper fluid. Uh, you got your reservoir over there for the coolant. Then you have your uh, dipstick for the engine oil there. But look, I told you those air vents are functional. You can see it on, see right on through there. Um, and it's pushing cool air right into this very nice V8 engine. All right, so let's pop in the back seat. Before I do that, let's look at the window sticker real quick because let's, let's see how much they, this thing is gonna cost us. So you'll see over the top, 2023 Dodge Durango RT. This is the black top with the all wheel drive package there. You're gonna see you got 17 miles kit per gallon combined, 14 city, 22 highway. And the final MSRP is $61,775. Let's pop this rear door open right here. And you're going to notice that you have tons of space here for your passengers. But let's start on the door here. You do have this nice uh, kind of hard plastic here on the top. You got a chromed out, uh, kind of a dark chrome uh, door handle there. Window option right there. And then a nicely padded armrest right here. A little storage area down at the bottom there that you can put a little cup down there as well. Then coming over the seats, you do have these nice perforated seats here in the rear, leather wrapped here with a Dodge badge right in the back. You do have these little mats back here in the back of the seats there as well. And then down in the middle, you do have two air vents plus two USB ports, a 115 household outlet plus two way uh, two stage heated seats here in the back and then right in the middle there you will see that there's a little hump here because this is a rear wheel drive based vehicle so most of the power is going to the rear wheels unless it needs all wheel drive and to send some of the power to the front from that v8 but again overall tons of space you can uh, get right back to the third row pretty easily through this little passageway uh, armrests here on this second row are nice and sturdy and you do have a little cup holder and little step down here where you can get to the third row 
All right, let's try jump up in the driver's seat. So first, I'm gonna show you the key, unlock, lock. You have the uh, rem the tailgate option there, remote start, and then panic button. Traditional Dodge key. It does have smart access there, so you can put your hand uh, behind this, the door and actually pop it open. This wind is getting really bad today, I tell you. <laughs> uh, but on the front door here, again, you have that hard plastic on top, the blacked out chrome uh, door handle. You do have a nicely padded armrest, power window, power locks, and power mirror option there. Plus, you do have two-way memory seating option right there. Uh, speaker grill down at the bottom and then a little storage area with a little bottle holder down there as well And then the driver's seat is leather wrapped here heated in ventilated here And you do have a few ways of a range You do have four-way lumbar, which is nice to have and then over here to the steering wheel You do have this nice leather wrapped steering wheel that is nice and thick in the hand it Does have little notches here at the uh, 10 and 2 options and then a, kind of like a little flat bottom there on the bottom And then also you do have power option here on this steering wheel so you can have it set to that memory seating option and it'll kind of adjust to where you are in that seat you do have your automatic headlight options over here and then into your dimming lights and then you have your hood release down there and then the uh, parking brake located right there let's jump on inside and turn the touch screen on all right welcome inside this 2023 dodge durango rt giving you a little view out the back a little blind spot on the back side there near the uh, the c and the d pillar back there uh, but you do have blind spot monitoring in the mirror, which is nice. Uh, but let's go up to the top here. So you do have this nice uh, sunroof here on the top. It is power. It does pop open. I do wish they did give you the option for a panoramic sunroof like most SUVs have these days. But if you want that, you can go to the Grand Cherokee L. Now, coming on down, you do have, um, you have your uh, home link options here for your uh, controls for your garage. Uh, you do have that uh, vent options there and the uh, opening for the sunroof. And then you have two dome lights here. And then you have your power lift gate options and some more light options there. You do have a nice sunglass holder right here. And then coming on down, you do have an auto dimming rear view mirror here that you can turn on and off. And then that also does have your SOS, your emergency um, services right in the mirror built in. And then coming on down, you do have this 10.1 inch touchscreen that is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatible. You can hook it up. You also do have built in navigation. You can also control things like your climate control, your heated and cooled seats, uh, your heated steering wheel, uh, radio, you name it. It's all in here. There's also just, you know, other apps here on the vehicle you can click on to um, that will take you to a few things on the actual uh, vehicle. So like third row headrest there, you can pop them uh, down. Let me turn the video around. I'm just going to press this button. But when I turn it around, you'll see I press that button and the headrest uh, goes completely down. So nice there. You can also turn that rear view uh, camera uh, on right here. So it shows you the backup uh, camera right there as well. Uh, so nice, uh, very nice touch screen, very responsive, very good. Now coming on down a little bit further, you do have your climate control options and your radio control options here. So you do have the uh, physical buttons here for your ventilated seats, your uh, heated seats, all that good stuff right on there and your heated steering wheel. You do also have the screen off button. You can press that and turn the screen off. Mute button, obviously, it'll mute the sound. And then you also have your dual zone climate control options right here, the fan uh, speed right there. And then you have your tuning or tuning and volume knob here for the radio hazard lights right here you have eco uh, eco off mode so it is automatically in eco mode uh, but you can turn that off and then you have your sport on mode turn it on the sport and give you the fastest ride possible uh traction control all off button and then your parking sensors off button down a little bit further i'll get you inside here a little bit so you'll see that you have four usb ports these hook up to the infotainment system and then you do have a wireless charging pad right here conveniently located a little storage area down there you have your shifter down right here so you can put it into uh, park reverse neutral and drive and then you could slap it on over and you can actually shift up and down through that eight speed uh, automatic transmission Come down a little bit further, you do have two cup holders here that do have ambient lighting around the outside, so that makes it easier to see at nighttime. And then you do have this uh, all-wheel drive low button here, so you can put that into all-wheel drive low, and it basically turns into a four-wheel drive low system. You have a little storage area down there where you can put like a, a pen or a few pennies. Um, and then down a little bit further, you do have your nicely padded armrest here that is two style uh, opening. What I mean by that is you do have the top here, which is a felt lining, and then you can also press the other side there and then we'll open it up all the way inside there. Um, and you'll see the little logo there that you do have a 12 volt outlet down there as well. So very nice. 
Coming on over to the steering wheel here, you do have this nice leather wrap steering wheel that is nice, thick, feels good in the hand. Um, you do have 10 and two notches there and then, and then kind of like a half flat bottom here. Um, you do have controls here for your adaptive cruise control options right there. And then you also do have your answer uh, hang up buttons there, voice uh, recognition button there. And then you also have the controls here for this screen right in the middle. So you can kind of go through different things um, in this screen, like fuel economy, tire pressure, uh, digital speedometer, you name it, it's really all in that center screen right there. You have your tachometer here, and then you have your hot cold gauge, and then your empty uh, full uh, gauge over there for your, for your fuel. Uh, paddle shifters here on the back, so you can shift manually here in that transmission, so very nice. And then you have your uh, turn signal and windshield wiper stalk right there um, on the back side as well. Nicely placed air vents here in the vehicle, give you nice uh, bit of cool air coming through and again just nice overall visibility out the front all righty so that's been a quick walk around on this 2023 dodge durango rt what an absolutely awesome vehicle that has v8 power 7400 pounds of towing capacity and can seat up to six people What's the point of getting a full-size SUV if you can get this thing? I'm telling you, what an absolutely awesome vehicle. If you could, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's down there, a little bit further down past this video. And hit that little bell notification to stay up to date on all the videos we are posting um, each and every week, month, and uh, every other day. <laughs> so uh, as soon as we possibly can, we'll post more videos. But thank you all so much for watching this video. Let me know down in the comment section below if you have any comments. Um, or if you would buy this vehicle, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.